Hello and welcome to Crafting with Time Friends. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use pattern fill in Cricut Design Space. So I already have the image that I want to fill on my canvas. You can use this um, with any designing you're doing, cupcake toppers, gable boxes, invites, etc. So the first thing we want to do is hit upload and we're going to upload a pattern into design space. So you're going to click pattern fill, upload pattern, and then you can either browse or do a drag and drop method. Of course, we're going to use the drag and drop method. Once your image shows up, you can name it and hit upload. Um, I'm just going to hit upload. It's going to come in as a print to cut and we're going to upload. And then we're going to go back to our canvas and we're going to show you guys what to do with your upload. Now we're going to get canceled so we can go back to our canvas. Now once you get back to your canvas, you want to make sure the item that you're trying to fill is selected. So select your image, and then we're going to go up here to operations. We're going to click. We're going to change this to print to cut. Print then cut. And then we're going to go to the color, and we're going to change it to pattern. So here you should find the image that you just uploaded. As you can see, mine is right here, but we're going to be using this image here. So click, and then your image should show up here. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you can manipulate it, make it go to the right, to the left, make the image smaller, make the image larger, etc. Well, the pattern fill. <laughs> so once Cricut does what it does and fill your pattern here. I'll show you guys the next step. All right. Okay, so once your pattern is filled, if it's exactly how you want it, great. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Finish designing and cut, print, all that. Then you will go back to where it says print to cut. Click here and we're going to go to edit pattern. And this is where you are able to manipulate your pattern fill. You can use the scale to enlarge it. So you can scale it here or you can use the slide bar to the right to make adjustments. You can use the tool. Clicking up adjusts adjusts it to the right. Clicking down horizontal adjusts adjusts it to the left. Vertical. Vertical up, vertical down. You can rotate the image and you can even flip the image. So basically, we're going to just scale it down just a little bit. We're going to push it to the left. So I'm going to type a number instead of, instead of um, hitting the arrow. And once you get the image to your liking again, you're just going to click the arrow out of here 
and it should adjust on your canvas and then you can finish designing how you want so that is how you do a pattern and fill it is very simple if you guys have any questions you can comment below um, make sure you guys uh, share what you create I have a Facebook group the link is also in the description so join us and um, yeah happy crafting I said it's don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me.